Hello, welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today, something really nice. Uh, it's a bit of a Formula One buff. When I saw this, it was like, wow, I'm gonna have to have it. It's as simple as that. So anyway, what we do have here is the Bramham, the BT-52 Arrow, as I call it. It looks absolutely stunning. Something really nice one. This is from the 1983 uh, Monaco uh, GP version. As you can see, something extra special about the golden age, as I call it, of Formula One. So when this one popped into our store, I was like, oh God, I'm just having that. That's just no brainer on that one. Okay, so you can see beautiful box art on this one. It is uh, B-Max or Shima, uh, sort of co-doing together this one. So your number for this one is B20003, okay. As you can see, it's number 14 in their range, all right. And then looking around on it, you can see fantastic job on the back there you can see you get quite a bit of photo etch down in there some nice decals and a few other bits and pieces down on there for hose end stuff like that very nice indeed and on the other side we can see the markings down in there again beautifully done and we've got color call outs down there as well in the standard sort of guns fashion so in the box we have i have to say the box is absolutely solid okay so a few parts down in here that's just Pop those out of the way. Okay. Let me just grab some beautiful sheet of decals. Okay, so in the old instructions, we've got some more colour call outs. Okay, usual blurb about modelling. Okay, a couple of uh, body painting instructions you see down in there. Then we're straight into it with a beautifully, highly detailed engine right the way through. More photo etch to add even more detail to the engine as you can see right the way in there. And again, all the exhaust systems, lumps, bumps, hoses, hydraulics, everything, you name it, is thrown at it to give you a fantastically detailed engine right off the bat, okay? Then we're moving in to the actual uh, cockpit area of the car. Again, photo etch, it looks like parts being fitted all over this one, so you're gonna be bending the photo etch to make up that solid aluminium front end on that one then laminating it all together with all the parts in there then with the seat we got buckles down in there turn buckles fully designed harness right the way through on there beautifully done all the steering gear being fitted in there the steering wheel all the items you can see highly detailed right the way through more photo etch for the actual radiators for the side pods those going on there and then even more photo etch and uh, decal parts and things like that going down here on the underside as well um, for the actual skid pan and then adding the parts onto this one the top one the fuel tanks various things like that one going in more photo etch lots of photo etch on this one as you can imagine right the way over this one engine being fitted down onto the actual chassis itself radiators going to the side pods front wing sections being put on there again even more photo etch down in there for the actual getting the end plates right uh, and some of the details, and again, even more photo etch just for the rear parts, okay? Color call outs and some decaling going down there onto the front end of it, and then the cockpit section going onto the floor. And again, we've got a couple of even Jubilee clips uh, being fitted down onto there, beautifully done. Then we've got various uh, lines running down through the vehicle. Wheels and tires, hubs being fitted down onto that one. Then we've actually got the bodywork being fitted over the top and various items going through. Some more photo etch as well for little things, just like for the fuel filler cap, for instance. End wing, beautifully designed. Again, bits of photo etch to go on there right the way through. And then we've got some various photo etch, even for the little screws being fitted onto that one. And then the wing being fitted completes your model. Wow. Somebody actually asked me on Facebook about a week ago when this thing first came into stock, um, hey, what's it like? That's on another level. Okay, so beautiful color call outs as we can see down on that one right the way through. So that's very nice indeed. Then we've actually got the decals. Again, not, we can just pop these out just to see the, the different ones in here. So we've got just down in here. We've got the wing mirrors, various items down in there. And as we can see, very, very nice, solid, nice color for those decals. Very nice indeed. And again, beautifully done with all of those on there. Very, very nicely printed. Okay, we'll just keep those safe. And just pop that back in there. Okay, keep those all safe and sorted. Okay, let's get straight into this. So, let's start off with the actual uh, body. Again, 
again, good, nice, solid plastic colour with this one. Uh, it's good. It's got a little centre seam running down the middle of Italy. You're going to have to deal with that, but again, very nicely detailed. And these air scoop sort of louver vents on these, very nicely done. But again, that white of the plastic is a good, solid, strong white. Uh, again, it's not like a, just a, a plastic white, a proper white on that one. So that's going to aid your painting. Okay, skid floor. Obviously, we've got some beautifully, very sharp as well, highly detailed. And then obviously, we've got the sort of uh, uh, diffuser type bottom on this one as well. Again, really nice. And again, the bolting details, nicely done on all of this. Very clean. The ejector pins are all very nicely tucked down, either level or just slightly raised, but they're not going to get in your way at all for those parts. So that's very nice indeed. Okay, so. Okay, we've got the cockpit area again, really very nice raised rivets inside and out. Beautifully done, very nicely done on that one. Very clean, crisp, sharp molding, very nice indeed. We've got the hubs for the tyres again, very nicely done, clean, sharp. Okay, and some of the parts down on here, so we've got Sprue D, top of the engine for the BMW engine, the turbocharger, uh, that line running right the way through. Again, exhausts, very nicely done indeed with those. Okay, so. Okay, so. Down on this one, as you can see, we've got the seat, we've got all the running gear, some parts of the engine, suspension, all those items. Again, very nice indeed. We can see all of those. Very clean. Sharp details on all of those. Really, very nice. Got no problem with any of that. It's very clean. Okay, so we've got the white sections. Okay, so again on this white sprue, we've got some very nice things with the front wing, the sides, all the parts beautifully done, clean, crisp. We've got no sink marks, no ejector pins, and anything. We've got the tiniest little bit of flash just down on there, but generally, as you can see. Really very clean, very sharp moulding on, on all of those. That's very nice indeed. Okay, and then last up. Okay, so the engine. As I said, we saw some great detail with this engine. And again, just looking around here on the parts, you can see that lovely BMW engine right the way through all the parts. There we go, BMW power plant just down in there. That's with the M Power series. Really very nice indeed with the brakes. Again, minimal burring on the parts, which is really nice as well. We got there's in the seam line between them all. Very, very nicely done. Okay, we've got a little bit of front fairing on this one, and obviously a obligatory one light for the rear. Okay. And down in here, we have the tyres. Again, really nice detailed mouldings on those, no problems at all. Actually, a really nice texture to them as well. Like I said, the writing is part of the uh, uh, decals on these ones, and that's those just like that. And then down in here, we've got a couple of screws for just fitting it in. The only thing you are missing is the photo etch. And then just looking at it, they are an optional extra for the photo etch upgrade set on that one, which is a little bit of a shame you don't get it in the kit. But I suppose at the end of the day, it's keeping it down with pricing. So as you can see on here, uh, you've got the different ones down. You've got the photo etch set. Could be a nice one. The other thing that's nice with the photo etch set, you do get, you can probably see hopefully just on here, the actual masks if you want to spray the wording onto the tires. Again, uh, you've got a carbon fiber 
decal set as well if you wanted that one and then the hose, hose endings uh, and things like that. So basically you can go with uh, your part numbers for this one is 09826 okay or you can go uh, uh, 098264 uh, down in there as well and then that way obviously you can have the carbon detail set or the photo etch set that's how they're actually doing it on those ones again it's a shame they don't come with it but in a lot of it if you're going to be buttoning it up I can understand why because if, so, if you're going to have it all as one you're not going to see it only if you've got it taken away and showing off those parts are you going to need that actual photo etch set down in there so again it's one of those things so, so for me personally I just have it as a whole car you're not going to need it or if you do want to open it up you're probably going to want to get the detail set for that particular one as always this fantastic kit is available in the pm store at just 45 pounds so if you want to go and grab yourself a bargain you can get it from us just in there as always but there we go i am actually going to build this kit this is actually one of those ones which is going to sit in my stash and we'll give it a couple of months and we're going to be putting this one together because it is just so different so nice and it looks to be an absolutely beautiful kit so there we go, that is the BMAX Brabham BT52 1983 Monaco uh, Grand Prix version uh, car.